the 127th Ordnance Institute of the Central Northern University, handed over a new 125mm cannon to PLA officers at a June 10, 2015 ceremony. The institute claims that the new multi-purpose cannon will have the highest range, velocity and penetration power of any 120mm-125mm slash cannon in the world. Where the story gets more interesting is that by June 14, all references to the new 125mm cannon had been scrubbed from the university's website, which suggests an official desire for secrecy during tests. This multi-purpose cannon reportedly has a muzzle velocity of 2,000 meters per second for armored piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo rounds, whose discarding sabo concentrates the kinetic energy from propellant into frontal area of the penetrator rod. For comparison, current Chinese 125mm Zapfs have a 1,700 meters per second muzzle velocity, the German L-55 has a muzzle velocity of 1,750 meters per second, and the US's M829A3 Zapfs round has a muzzle velocity of only 1,555 meters, but uses a larger penetrator with increased mass to increase imparted kinetic energy. The 125mm multi-purpose cannon tech demonstrator will be delivered to a PLA testing and proving ground. If successful, it will likely arm the next generation of Chinese main battle tanks, possibly just in time for the 70th anniversary of the People's Republic. Just as importantly, the new tank cannon uses one-piece ammunition, in contrast to the 125mm two-piece ammunition used by current Chinese tanks such as the ZTZ-199 and ZTZ-96. The autoloader on those tanks are limited to two-piece 125mm ammunition due to size restrictions, which in turn results in a smaller aft's rod with less kinetic energy. The recoil hydraulic tubes are positioned to so that they are attached to the top of the breech block, where the shell is loaded, and the top of the towed carriage mount. The optimizes reduction of recoil on the horizontal plane when conducting direct fire at enemy tanks, but raising the cannon to a higher elevation to fire at aircraft could damage the recoil system. The multi-purpose cannon's high velocity gives it enough energy and range to theoretically take on anti-aircraft roles. More plausibly, the multi-purpose cannon could provide indirect fire support with cannon-launched missiles and shells for Chinese forces, such as distant, network infantry units calling in strikes on enemy positions. Much as China is making high-profile investments into new generation technologies battlefield robots, drones, infantry exoskeletons and smart missiles, it's also making great improvements to current military technology like tanks. The new tank cannon is yet another example of how Chinese forces will be far better equipped on any the battlefield of the future. While new tanks like the Russian Armada and Turkish Altai are taking the spotlight in the world of armored vehicles, China has a new tank gun that might just beat them all.